sir, uh, thank you, sir. At this time, I don't see any question in the chat room. Uh, but friends, uh, if you have any question, please unmute your device. And remember, if you don't have a question, you can also say, "I like to know about," or "I like to talk about," and whatever talking points you wanted to talk about. May it be Nandi, may it be sitting on the floor, or whatever you think. G. So could you kindly ask Aziz sir to go through the recitation of Tobo Tobo during Dua Karavi? Uh, it's friends asking just for the clarification. Okay, so I can do that today. That is one of our talking point in uh, Dua Karani, uh, Niyaz and Chanta and Memani. But quickly, because the Jamaat Khanna is place of asking for forgiveness and to forget. If you look at the point number four, place where we can forget our sin and ask for forgiveness. So when we get to number four point, we have that in our list to talk about. Literally, that is the place to remember what we have done. And remember, we, we do sin in four different ways. Four different ways. Knowingly, unknowingly. Willingly, unwillingly. Think about that. We do commit sins in four different ways. Knowingly, unknowingly. Willingly, who would commit sin willingly? But we do. Willingly and unwillingly. And that is the reason that we have a daily practice of asking for forgiveness in Tobo Tobo. Because without that, we would have so many sins, knowingly or unknowingly, willingly or unwillingly, that at the end of the time, we will be pushed and buried in this sin. So Imam has given us a way out to remember your sin, ask for forgiveness. And you can forget sins of the others who have hurt you somehow. You also need to open your heart and forget them too. G. Okay, and uh, also a friend asking about the request to speak on Abhi Shafa and Shukri concept. Yes, we will talk about that. So let me write down. Uh, this point, so uh, Tobo Tobo and uh, Niaz, yes. So those are the talking points. Thank you, appreciate that. And also, Ben ask, asking, I would like to know more about the Awal Manzil Seva. Can we consider it more uh, upper side than shoe company? All right, that's a good, really good question. So we will see how one in its own place is higher service than the other in its own place so yes that's a very good question thank you I'm, I'm writing it down G and I also find asking about the wearing black uh, clothes in Jamathana okay so black clothes in Jamathana why we would not wear black clothes in Jamathana so that should be the question there is a historical background and there is a moral or understanding of the black cloth. So first historical background. Back in 40s and 50s, and I'm talking about the time of Imam Akka Sultan Muhammad Shah, may our soul be sacrificed to that Imam in his time. There was a lot of influence and a lot of koshish uh, uh, thi both other. The Shnashri Jamaat, the Shia Jamaat, they were pushing and they were trying and they were influencing our Ismaili Jamaat to become Shia, Ishnashri. And their symbol was the black cloth. 
Why their symbol was black cloth? Not was. Their symbol even today is black cloth. Because they are still in the mourning of Imam Hassan, Imam Hussein, Mola Ali's Shahadat. So, Imam at that time, remember there are four kind of Faramin. The Faraman of the time, Faraman of the place, Faraman of the Zahir, and Faraman of the Batin. I'm talking about the Faraman of the place and a time. Those two Faraman of the place and a time. In that place, in that time, Imam says, do not associate yourself by wearing black clothes with Shia Sunni. So do not wear black clothes. And second was, the black clothes represent that you are upset, you are sad, you are in mourning, somebody had died. Imam said, in our tariqa, your Imam is living, present, and you have nothing to be said about. There's nothing to be mourned about. Because your Imam is living. So why do we need to wear black clothes? But if you look at today, we wear black suits, we wear black ties, we wear black shirts. But Imam doesn't like for us to wear black clothes because we are in mourn. We are not mourning anyone. We are with living Imam. So I see questions as says, full black clothes are prohibited. Again, don't we wear black suit? Remember, what is the purpose behind it? Mola doesn't like black color, right? So we wear other colorful, happy colors, especially white but other happy colors, right? Because black color belongs to the side where we are sad due to someone has died. So it's not prohibited. Prohibited means that if you show up in a black cloth, volunteer will not let you inside the Jamaat Khana. That is prohibited. No, it's not. But we have no reason to wear black cloth especially if our Imam doesn't like it, right? So let's take an example. In your home, your parents may not like you to wear some kind of cloth, whatever that cloth may be. Then you will not wear those clothes around your parents, right? So Imam and, and the Jamaat Khana, you are going there to please the Imam and the black color kind of blocks you, kind of bring those, the mood in your heart. But if you are wearing a white and colorful cloth, it will bring that mood in your heart, in your mind, in your thoughts and people around you. If you are wearing happy colors then it will help you and will help the people around you and inshallah we will make imam happy too g uh, sir and next question is uh, would like to know more about the spiritual symbol uh, symbolism in the physical features and the architectural features in the various jamaat khana building is there any significance of dome in Jamaat Hana or it is coming from Islamic history? Very good. So, th we can cover this as a topic point because it looks like there are two questions. There is this, every single thing that you put in a Jamaat Hana has a meaning to it. Especially the modern Jamaat Hana which we have built in last, let's say, 60 years of Hazri Imam's time. Each Jamaat Khana has a particular background, reason, purpose of every single thing we put in. And we can talk about, and I can only talk about the Jamaat Khana that I go into. 
how Mola has approved and in the guidance and in the uh, in the front of uh, Prince Amin Muhammad, this Jamaat Khana was built. And it was built on the number nine. And number nine is for what? What is it special about number nine? They built everything in nine. And we, we will talk about that. I'm writing this point down. Uh, why this Jamaat Khana was built on number nine. And we will talk about that. Yeah, thank you. And also, friend, ask you about the concept behind Ziarat and Godani Dua. Very good. Yes. So, Dua after the death. Okay. Thank you for giving us all this topic uh, and talking point because this will really help what you wanted to hear, not what I wanted to talk about. Thank you. Appreciate that. G. And also, asking friend, asking Abu Sufro and how the Nandi started. Is Na the history Nandi. of Nandi. Oh, so we'll talk about Nandi, Memani, and Aval Sufro. Okay. And I see, I like this one. The direction of the Kaaba. So someone asking about the direction of the Kaaba. So I can share something about direction of the Kaaba. And we can talk about it in detail, but in a short what is the direction of the Kaaba? When we are in Jamaat Khana, when we are at home, when we are in traveling, what we are saying that we are facing toward our Imam. Imam is our Kaaba today. Remember our Tariqa is a Batini Tariqa, not a physical Tariqa. In physical Shariat, in Shariat, Kaaba is a physical place and a direction. In Batin, your heart, where Imam is, meaning your Imam is your Kaaba and your direction. But this is a great uh, point that we could cover as a point. Why in Sharia one way and why in Hakikat it changes? What is the reason behind that? And we, are, we have a great points we can talk about. The direction and possibility of directions in Dua. G. And also friend asking about the Various uh, Mehmani bowls are kept at Mukhisa and Mukhani Saiba part. Okay, uh, say that again. What is the question? Various uh, Mehmani bowls kept oh, yes. at Mukhisa yes. and Mukhani Saiba part. Gee, so I will add that to uh, Nandi on Mukhisa's part. Okay. And also asking significance of the service majlis of Paj Barsa. All the majlis. Paj Barsa. We can yes. talk about all the majalis combined. G. And I think the friends are also asking about the significance of number. I think you just mentioned about number nine. Right. So we will talk about this one Jamaat Khana in Texas, which was built on nine. And we will talk about that because it will require 20, 30 minutes of explanation. Why number nine? So we, ha I have written down the talking point, and we will talk about that. And also asking about, is it true that Agarbati are not good for angels, but Nuban draws angels? No, uh, with uh, apology, I do not agree with that. But if you like to talk about that, we can talk about it. And why we used to have it, we no longer have it. We can talk about all of that if anyone need to know if that is important to you that topic then we can talk about it if it's just for information purposes then angels does not have physical body so it doesn't bother them one way or the other g okay. uh, 
I think uh, one of the friends asking the question, and Aziz Bhai, Aziz Bhai said that you you have to love the Jamaat equally when in Jamaat Khana. How can you learn to accept people that are there to socialize and continue talking of uh, Mandani? I'm not sure how it's said. Is it Mandani things as we as we as uh, individual want to concentrate on ibadat and evening prayers. These are repeated the same people who come to Jamaat Khana and disturb others with their gossip and talk loud enough to disturb the few that are sitting around them. Sometimes it is not possible to move away from that space because of space in Jamaat Khana. Uh, if you remember in the very last session on the Jamaat Khana, I think it was about three weeks ago, we were, had talked about this very subject. So, if you like, leave a number with Kamala Sahib and we can share the recording. Listen to the recording and then at the end, uh, there was some question and answer and we had talked about this in great detail. And yes, sometimes it is disturbing, but as a combine, as a, as a Jamaat, Inshallah, we have the opportunity today and when I say we, meaning the entire Jamaat has the opportunity today, today since we have a kind of temporary lost our Jamaat Khana where we can go to be gathered with our Jamaat. Hopefully, this will give us a more greater sense and understanding and the respect especially for our praying hall, inshallah. So share your uh, number with Kamri Sahib and he will share the uh, the last session on Jamaat Khana, which was given delivered three weeks ago. G. And also friend asking about the, the Mubarak Majlis and the Dasun requirements of that Majlis. We can talk about Dasun generically. And if you like, there is a session on the song today at 1 o'clock, Dallas time, our time, Texas time, 1 o'clock, on the song, on Zoom. And we had one last week on the song. You can take the recording and listen to it. We will not talk about Mubarak Madli in particular, but we will talk about the, the song. And the greater the son, higher the son in generic. Yes, we will talk about that. G. And another question is, is, is very interesting. Uh, can you please talk about whether Rouhani and angels also come to Jamaat Khan? Sure, why not? Yes. The question should be, why would they come to Jamaat Khana? What is the purpose of them to come to Jamaat Khana? That would be the right question to ask. And a great question to ask. G. Uh, if I asking, most of the Jamaat Khana uh, New building have a structure towards which gives explanation about the building structure, which includes Zahir and Batin. We have a tour guide. Okay, yes. Yes, this is a great. Save this okay. and share with the uh, listener. Do they have a virtual tour, may I ask, of Houston Jamaat Khana? Or are they talking about the physical, literal uh, tour? Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a tour, literal tour, I think they talk about. Okay. Because if, if this person can get in touch with me and can give me a virtual tour, I would appreciate that. Because right now, I don't think it's a proper time to go visit or take a tour in any Jamaat Khana. But if they can help us or come on this line and give us a virtual tour, there will be a great service to everybody who is not living in Houston. So do talk to that person and see if they can do that for us. 
So another interesting question: Why we pay money to enter into a majlis? Very good, very good question. Yes, I like this question. Thank you. I will. We will cover that. Uh, that is it, sir. I don't see any more of the request in the chat. Let me check one more. Okay.